But then out the when they heard that, you know, what you actually said on the song, a lot of people went back on your side. So how did it, how, how did this thing come about? I really, it really on some shit like, okay, like, man, they, when they, when they first hit by the, I want some shit, yeah, 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 like, shit, fuck, um, I can't want nothing to think about. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Stir Flames. In this video, we're going to talk about Code Up Black being the center of concern at the moment and Ray J appealing for him to get some help. Now guys, most recently, Code Up Black did a sit down on Drink Champs with Noriega. Now, this Drink Champs interview has gotten a quite fair amount of attention, not only for Kodak Black's controversial statements, but for his, um, you know, what appears to be unhealthy um, mental condition. Many people have drawn concerns as to what could be happening with Kodak Black and they believe that Drink Champs should have never posed the interview, neither should have they done the interview in the first place because apparently Kodak Black is not well at the moment. Also, in recent weeks, we've seen clips of Kodak Black being admitted to the emergency department. And now we have Ray J who has joined in the list of people who are concerned about Kodak Black and not just concerned about him. You know, Ray J is now happy that Noriega consciously chose to post Kodak Black in a poor taste because when you look at the clip you can tell that Kodak Black is not well and when someone is not well you don't consciously post any content of them for anyone else to see that right so Ray J believes that Noriega did wrong on this and Ray J believes that Kodak Black you know needs to get some help so, Ray just said, yo, somebody need to grab bro and make sure he good. This ain't the interview, nor we gotta help this dude. I took him to Trump house and he did the most. They were not happy with the experience because he had no guidance and respect. Ray J then said, yo, at Walk 100, which is their manager, right? He's saying, let's figure out how we can help this guy instead of watching him self-destruct. Let's send our prayers up for Kodak. Now, after Ray J said that, you know, many people, naturally, they are going to stand with him. But with social media being this toxic place, people will always have something negative to to say no matter how good or pure your intentions are. So after Richie said that, people were like, I wonder why it didn't get him help when he took him to the White House and had access to him sound like perfect opportunity instead of posting on the internet. I have to say that is true. But what if upon taking Coda Black to the White House is when Ray J realized that, no, 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 something is definitely out of line here with this man, right? And also, true, he didn't have to post on social media. But at the same time, with him posting on social media, it also alerts other people and bring to their awareness that something is going on with Coda Black in the event that, you know, you are about to do an interview with him. Now, now may not be the best time. It is also alerting people that, a in case you see this clip, 
just pay keen attention that something is wrong with our brother here and do not be too harsh on him. So while sometimes you want to think about something from one particular perspective, you know, on the basis of morals, um, we also have to let, you know, basic common sense reign at the end of the day. Social media is a tool that can be used for good or bad, and no one has any control over how people perceive what Reggie had posted because, you know, if you're good at putting words together, you can see the good in what he did. And if you're really good at putting words together, again, you can also um, construct a constructive criticism, putting him in a bad light as well for posting that. But at the end of the day, I believe that bringing awareness to others, there can always be positivity in it, even if it is for social media views, clicks, likes, and attention, I do see positive in Ray J's actions. So as such, I have to say Ray J is definitely doing the right thing in this case. But guys, um, the interview is one that is really distasteful. Um, even though I'm going to share, I've shared the clip with you guys, I have decided to take out the audio because honestly, it is one that is very, you know, unpleasant for you to look at and listen to at the same time. But let me know what are your thoughts. Do you think that Reggie did the right thing? I want to hear from you guys. While you're at it, show you girls some love and see you all later. Bye, guys.